Welcome to Dangerous Prototypes. I'm Ian. India, a country of more than a billion people. It's also one of our biggest markets for the bus pirate and other open hardware tools. We want to meet our fellow geeks and see the electronics markets that are virtually unknown to the rest of the world. Last time we braved the traffic in Mumbai to visit a mobile phone parts market. It makes sense, at least in India, to use as many as mobile parts available. And the Lamington Road wholesale market. Lamington Road, on the other hand, is the components location. You know, there are lots and lots of these small shops which stock all kinds of parts and components. Then we headed to India's tech center, Bangalore. We met with 20 geeks and toured in this hilarious van. We raided SP Road, the local parts market. That's so four, four cents yeah. for each LED only. Yeah. That's a good price. Then we met with two very different hardware shops. One just beginning. Proto Central is a new initiative of ours uh, to bring open source hardware more into India. And another celebrating their fifth anniversary. So currently we distribute about 3,000 products and not. Okay, so this year we are planning to go about 35,000 or 36,000. Then we rounded off with a trip to a PCB assembly line. And once this is done, it goes to the reflow, mm -hmm. where soldering happens. This week we head south to Kochi to meet with Rido Labs. In India, presently, we are the number one as a domestic manufacturer. India's biggest open hardware manufacturer and distributor. We went to Mumbai and yeah. Bangalore, yeah. and everywhere we went, people knew your company and bought your products. Yeah. Some even called you the Spark Fund of India. Oh, nice. So how big are you? Uh, yeah, we started with the Spark Fund products, some of the Spark Fund products, and the Arduino products. And now we started our own production over here with SMD line, and now we have almost a staff strength of 89 employees over here. Mainly we are, in India what we are facing is the customs duty. So when we are importing again from the spark fund, the product cost rise up. That's why we started uh, on uh, this product and we are looking for the world market. Our parent company is Rido. It started on 97 and uh, the Rido lab started on uh, three years back. Since we have this much manpower and product range, uh, I think by don't we market that also. It's, this machine is from uh, Autotronic. It's a German machinery which we bought it from Hong Kong, delivered from Hong Kong only. Which is having the same machine with the spark fund and all others. The seed studio and everything. Normally daily we will run around uh, 3 or 4 hours. 3 or 4 hours yes, a day. Yes, yes. Yeah. In Kerala, when it is in Kerala, there is, no, uh, there is no pick and place available machine industry. In Bangalore it is there. So we are facing problem for this uh, contract assembling and everything. For this, we, and our production line is only sometime 100 numbers or 50 numbers. So the, those people will not be that much interested and the delivery problem will be also there. We, I think it is worth yeah. for a company like us. And are you doing your paste application by hand? Yeah, frameless one. We can put a frame over here. So since it is very low cost. Mm -hmm. Frame, uh, sensor also, we, we, it can be low cost. This is magnetic uh, fixtures. We can, this is 3mm holes. We can fix like this uh, PCB, like this holes, it will be suitable. And this is just a PCB standoff. In, we can insert inside the PCB, so PCB will not bend. So we can adjust this, uh, once the, we put the PCB like this, suppose. We can adjust like this, both by both hand, then it will move PCB accordingly. Some product it is by hand, that's why they are just putting, and we will uh, put the board over here, and swipe it. So these you're doing by hand, and you're using these old circuit boards yes. to frame it up, yes. to keep it yes. in place? Yes, and then, then we can make it a height, same as all height and everything. How difficult is it to get the right amount of paste on the board? Yeah, it is not that much difficult. We can try with uh, up to, uh, around five times, then you will be expert on that. Yeah. You can try yourself, no problem. Well, this is my attempt at spreading solder paste or stencil. Not something I have a lot of experience with. You can see I got most of the pins on here. But uh, especially up here, missed quite a few. This is my reflow. And we can connect it to the computer. Serial port is available. We can set the all temperature profile. Mm -hmm. So accordingly, it will work. Yeah. Up to 40 points, we can set. Yeah, they are just uh, testing the boards. SM once the SMD production is over, they will test it. And once they test everything, they will pack it over here or they will program using the PC. Yeah. For this, there is no SMD parts. Mm -hmm. So this is all are done by hand only. Uh, they are doing the PCB designing. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there is no power. That's why it is switched off. And uh, th we have three uh, PCB design engineers over here. That the power here comes from hydroelectricity. Yeah, and it is from hydraulic. Uh, all. Uh, this from all we have got almost three uh, dams, and in Kerala everything is uh, uh, supplying through these dams. Still, it is not enough. 
And uh, how often do you have power cuts here? In Tamil Nadu, it's almost having six hours, but in Kerala, it's almost one hour. Okay. But unfortunately, today I don't know the voltage is sagging. Like the voltage, the power is there, but the voltage is less. This is my studio setup, which I am taking the photos. We have got uh, almost three strobes are there. I am using the Canon cameras with the uh, 60D camera with the macro lens. And the picture is also per perfect. I am getting it. Yeah, okay. I have made my own uh, light box. You seen it? You seen? Uh, you said the Chinese it is available. Yeah, yeah. I made it by carbon box, which is a printer carton, and by white cloths. It's make very nice pictures. So this is. These are your toys. Yes, yes, your parts. yes. Your, my parts. Yes. <laughs> it is all all R and D and everything. Yeah. yeah, they are my engineering teams. They are uh, writing the programs for my Arduino's and all other microcontroller based. Yeah. What languages do you write your tutorials in? All tutorial we use English only. On website everybody is using English only. We uh, as a Rider Labs we are not looking for Indian customers. We are looking for the global customers. So we should be in, uh, writing all the tutorials and all blogs everything in English only. This is the GSM modem, and with uh, this is with the TTL. So you can directly interface with the microcontroller. You don't need any level converter nothing. You, this is 5 voltage and 3V3 voltage compatible. You just give whatever the uh, interfacing voltage you need it, it will automatically convert it to that. It's already built in with the level converter. Yeah, this is a arm, you know, arm, arm based board. So what it's a header board. Sir? This is NXP, LPC, all everything. So everybody, it is very easy. All It's a break, simple breakout board with the necessary crystals and power supply. Mm -hmm. So, and it is breadboard compatible. You can just insert it and you can do it. That is the thing. This is the RFID reader. Yeah. yeah, you can just connect it and uh, this is a TTL one, you can directly interface with the microcontroller. This is for Admel development board, you can have, uh, have the all interfaces like uh, 7 segment, everything is inbuilt. So students and uh, for training purpose everybody can use it. The India Geek Tour is incredible. From market to market things are so diverse and the ingenuity is impressive. But not just the markets. The warmth and hospitality everyone has shown us is something we'll remember forever. We still have the whole northern half of the country to explore, and we can't wait to come back. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Uh,